A doctor. Hello, my name is Jane. I'm nine years old. When I grow up, I'll become a nurse. Hello, my name is Mary. I am 10 years old. When I grow up, I want to become an accountant. Hello, my name is Dativa. I'm nine years old. When I grow up, I want to become a doctor. Hello, my name is Anita. I'm 11 years old. When I grow up, I want to become a nurse. Hello, my name is Titus. I'm six years old. When I grow up, I want to become a pilot. Hello, my name is Alex. I'm 11 years old. When I grow up, I want to become a dentist. Hello, my name is Kenneth. I'm 11 years I'm 10 years old. When I grow up, I, I want to become a police officer. Hello, my name is Godfrey. I'm nine years old. When I grow up, I want to become a pilot.
มาหน่อยหน่อยหน่อยเอลามาเอลามาหน่อยหน่อยหน่อยเอลามาเอลามาหน่อยหน่อยหน่อยGood morning, church. How's everyone doing this morning? Oh no, 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 no! Let's try that one again. How's everyone doing this morning? This is my home church, so I want to hear a big roar, and you guys get to sleep in too. <laughs> well, you guys, if you don't remember who I am, my name's Sam. Went on this crazy adventure, and as you can see, it's well worth it. My name. Well, I get to be the Ugandan Kids Choir tour leader, and don't worry, I'm not going to start singing and dancing. So I didn't really get into that. But <laughs> Craig's like, "Thank you." But uh, I did want to take a couple of minutes just to explain who we are and why we're out here. So, Ugandan Kids Choir, as you guys heard, are ten Ugandan children from the ages of six to eleven, right? And uh, they are out here on a U.S. tour. We started off in uh, Florida, and we finally made it west to the Promised Land, Southern California. And now we're heading up into the unknown, which is Washington State. And then we're gonna slingshot right back when these kids actually go back home, right around Christmas time. So, your prayers are very much appreciated, and they're coveted and needed, right, for all of us. And uh, we are currently on tour because we are promoting a Christian ministry called Child Care Worldwide. Now, Child Care Worldwide is a Christian ministry that is dedicated to serving the poor and vulnerable children around the world. And they do that by supplying them with help for today, a hope for tomorrow, and instilling them a faith of eternity. And that's why we're out here singing and dancing and sharing the joy. That they have experienced through the loving channel of child sponsorship, because I know for a lot of people here, we got a lot of youngins, right? It's um, it's very pleasing to hear kids share with you their hopes and their dreams and their aspirations, right? I mean, they want to be doctors, you know, they want to be nurses, they want to be the smart one wants to be an accountant because all of them have to go to her to do their taxes. You know, they want to be pilots. They don't want to be pirates. So, please don't worry about that either. But you know, it brings us joy to hear that from the from the mouths and sense of babes, right? But these kids, they come from an area of the world where that notion of 
thinking about what you want to be with grow up, that's, that's not a commonplace thing or idea. They come from a place where it's not a matter of when I grow up, it's more of a matter of if, if I grow up. And for these kids that you see on stage, that's all in the past, and that's all because of the child sponsorship program. And that's why they're able to come body to body and share and promote this wonderful program that they have received where they get to learn not only your basic education, but they also get to learn about their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's why we're out here as well. I mean, uh, who better to bring this message and this opportunity to extend your reach and reach into the lives of children across the world and bring that opportunity to my home church. So hopefully you guys will prayerfully consider becoming a child sponsor today. And um, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but that's who we are and that's our mission right now. But would you guys give me a big Vision City Church welcome back for the Ugandan Kids Choir. Good morning, church. Okay, I'll usually say this when people don't answer me louder. I'll say it the American way. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> you guys need to wake up. <laughs> and we're about to wake you up. My name is Shamim. I'm the music director and dance choreographer of Ugandan Kids Choir. We are so happy to be here. We've been looking forward to come to this church for so many months. And we are here, and that's why I'm requiring everyone to be cheerful. Because we are happy to be here, so we want you to be happy that we are here. The next item the children are going to perform comes from the northern part of Uganda. It is performed by the Alur people who speak a language called Alur. They border a country called Congo on the western side. And they border the longest river in the whole world on the eastern side. So I always pose a question back to you, my friends. What's the longest river in the whole world? Huh? You're the best church so far. <laughs> River Nile starts from Uganda on Lake Victoria, where these kids come from. How did the item come about? One day, as the children were playing in their parents' courtyards, they were so hungry. It is because, according to the children's brains, it was time for food, but their parents were not getting the food ready. So what did they do? They decided to entertain themselves. How did they entertain themselves? By competing against each other to see who shakes the West best. <laughs> so each time they would feel hungry or feel bored, they would go to do that sort of competition they did yesterday. So they eventually ended up making songs and dance movements. And the dance came to be as it is today. The dance we are going to perform is called Gaze. Repeat after me, Gaze. Gaze. Why am I asking you to repeat after me? Number one, it's because I'm requesting those of you that have your phones, tablets, your cameras, computers, pull them out, record this, put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram, YouTube, I don't know about Twitter, but yes. Why? Because when you go home, you're going to tell your friends and family that we watched Gaze. And they will ask you, what's Gaze? What's the meaning of that? Then you tell them, Google it. <laughs> the second reason is, I know after watching this, some of you are going to compete against each other to see who shakes the West best. <laughs> so enjoy Gaze from the northern part of Uganda. <laughs> 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 
They go to school, they get to know how to read and write. They are well trained, they have education, and they are happy. Because of the sponsorship that they have got, it changes their lives and very many of them that have uh, finished the university and they have changed lives. They are teachers now, they are working with banks. Others have gone back to the community and they help. My name is Tukala Sylvia Rona Nganwa. I am a former sponsored child with Child Care Worldwide. Child sponsorship changes lives and I can really stand in to testify that it changed my life totally. And because of the skills that I attained through the education, I do teach the children. I'm giving back to the organization through my services. And I believe that I can also make a difference in someone's life. You really see a difference between the children that have got the sponsorship and the fellow age mates that have 
been left behind. My name is Diana Vida. I'm 12 years old. I'm primary five. My school is called Lake Victoria Education Center. Last year I got an opportunity to travel with the Uganda Kids School. We raised many sponsors. I'm now in school and my brother is in school and child care is taking care of us. My name is Nanya Nomulihe. I was sponsored from primary one, now I am in primary five. If I grow up, I want to be a pilot. My name is Sam Tenga Simon. I want to become a doctor in future so that I can help to treat sick people in my district and in the whole of Uganda. Sponsoring a child provides help for today, hope for tomorrow and eternity. choose to sponsor a child, their lives will be totally changed. Even their families will be changed along with the change that the children bring. So for a person who is providing sponsorship, you are saving this child from this ugly background. You are providing hope to this child who is dying of starvation. You are providing a healthy lifestyle to this child who has been desperate. Well, church, did you guys enjoy the Ugandan Kids Choir? Hey, how about our volunteers? Let's give it up for our volunteers, too, that came up and danced. Woo. Greg cheated. He's been taking Zumba for the last week, practicing. Well, you guys, as you guys see, child sponsorship truly does give the opportunity to these kids to just break free from the bonds of poverty. And although there's 5,000 current children in our sponsorship program, and we operate in eight different countries, there's still thousands more that are awaiting sponsors. So in the back, we have a table set up, and you will see many of these cards on the table. What these cards are is they're a representation of a life. And these are the cards of the children seeking to be sponsored. Sponsorship is really affordable for us Americans. It comes out to about the average cup of a Starbucks coffee, you know, $40 a month. Unless you're going with that fancy stuff, you know, with, you know, extra caramel, double froth, 160 degrees over ice double sleeve, no cup type of situation. <laughs> $40 a month, and I wanted to let you know exactly what your money is going towards. First and foremost, um, 88 cents of every dollar is contributed to this ministry, goes directly to the children and the ministry. And it goes directly, first and foremost, to their education. As you've seen, Going to school in these areas of the world is very difficult. Childcare provides them with the education because you can feed a man for a day, right? You give him a fish and he'll be fed for a day, but if you what? Teach him how to fish, and then he's fed for a lifetime, right? We wanna teach these kids, and they're eager to learn. They want to learn. They're, they're soaking everything up, and we are only dedicated to them in their primary, secondary, or high school, but all the way to university or trade school. That's our commitment to these children. The second thing that it goes towards is for each individual child based on their needs is food, water, shelter, medicine, whatever the child needs to make it through the program, that's what they provide. 
And the third component, which brings it all together, and without this component, none of this really matters. We are just providing comfort for somebody else around the world, but that's it. But they get brought up in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen, church? Amen. They go through a Christian Life Center education program where they learn the Bible, where they learn what it means to be a Christian, where they get brought up to be Christian leaders in their country of origin. You know what one of the main contributors to poverty is around the world where they're at? Third of these developing countries? It's corruption. Imagine building up leaders that are brought up not only to be accountable to their fellow man, but understand that everything that they do is under the eyes of their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It also feeds them knowing then that they have a hope, that they have a plan and a purpose and a design for their life. And it's the same gospel message to us too, church. Being impoverished in our sins, we were unable to help ourselves. But God extend his loving reach and extended his hand to humanity through, this, through the, his son, Jesus Christ. And if we believe on him in that beautiful message, the many blessings that come with that, and one of those is eternal life. Amen, church? $40 a month, would you guys prayerfully consider becoming a child sponsor today? Did you guys enjoy these children? <laughs> Just keep this in mind. At one point, every child that you see on stage was a picture and a small description on one of these cards on the table. Like I said, it represents a life. The other thing that we are collecting, and this is separate from the child sponsorship program and it's completely voluntary. You are to contribute to your church first and this is where you grow and all that, that's your obligation. This is a love offering that goes to funding the ancillary ministries in which we're involved in, like the clean water project that we're currently involved in in Uganda and Kenya, the medicine project that we just instilled. And not only that, we're funding for other choirs to be able to come back out to the United States. Um, you guys all received one of these bulletins, correct? Inside that bulletin, you'll see an envelope with a form. You can fill out the form if you'd like. That's just uh, if you require a receipt from the organization for your contribution today. Um, you can make checks payable out to Child Care Worldwide. If you don't require that, just put your love offering inside that envelope. And you guys, when you guys come and visit us at the booth, you can just drop it off on the bucket that we have there. But like I said, completely voluntary and uh, whatever the Lord presses on your heart. We just hope you come and speak with us and uh, we can show you how to become a sponsor today. Thank you so much, Vision City Church, for allowing us to come back home for a minute. For the Love It's, for hosting us, for everybody that provided a meal. It's been, it's just been a blast being home. So thank you guys so much. The kids got one more song for you guys. And once again, Vision City Church, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you and God bless you.